right. I was just looking at my weather app and it shows me that we're gonna have snow next week because we can't have Christmas without snow, right? Oh, that is so cool that people are able to do that. We're able to look into the future on our phones and see what weather is going to happen. My name is Connor and I'm the kids pastor at Riverway Church. And just like the weather app is pretty cool and we can kind of see what's happening in the future, the Old Testament of the Bible actually talks a lot about Jesus before he was ever even born. And Jesus is the person that the Jews were waiting for for hundreds and hundreds of years. Let me show you a few examples. In 2 Samuel, it's a book in the Old Testament, it says, He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be a father to him, and he will be a son to me. And that's talking about Jesus. In Isaiah 9, there's another reference to Jesus. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us, and the authority is put on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the person that the Jews had been waiting for for hundreds of years. And you'd think that this very important person that people were waiting with tense expectation for would come born in a palace to a princess with lots of money and cheers and fanfare. But when we look at the story, Jesus, the person the Jews had been waiting for for hundreds of years, God appeared to Mary, a young girl who was a nobody, and she was going to be the mother of the Son of God. And when it came time for Jesus to be born, instead of being born in a palace with riches and wealth surrounding him, he was born in a manger a feeding trough for animals. That's the person that the Jews have been waiting for for hundreds of years, this son of God that the Old Testament was talking about through all of its pages. And he was born like that. And that's the Christmas story. And that is so fascinating. It gives us a picture of who God is, that he takes these messy things that don't go right, the, these wrong things, and he makes them right and beautiful. And Jesus is the person that the world has been waiting for, for hundreds of years. And that's why we celebrate this holiday of Christmas, because Christmas is when Jesus was born 2,000 years ago. And as we are waiting for this Christmas Eve or Christmas morning to come and to open up our gifts and spend time with family, that sense of excitement we can feel about the fact that Jesus came 2,000 years ago and all those people that were waiting for Jesus to come when he finally came, it's that feeling of opening a gift that it finally comes. And Jesus is coming marked the start of a life that at the end, Jesus' sacrifice for us forgave us of our sins and gave us unity with God. And that's the gift that God gave to the entire world. And that's what the Jews were waiting for, for thousands and thousands of years. And that's the beautiful importance of this Christmas story and why we place so much importance on December 25th. So. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. We'll see you guys next week as we talk a little bit more about who Jesus actually is. We celebrate him, we talk about him, we sing about him, but who is he? So I can't wait for that one. And I'll see you guys next time. So thank you for joining us again, and we'll see you next week.